Well, um, I'm a plain Christian as I used to be and as, as I've been the last 35 years sitting in uh, a church and uh, looked at the pastor and I've been singing the worship songs and pretty good. But a week ago I met a girl who was, you can say, kick-started. She had a depression and um, she wanted to look for some miracle, miracles from the Bible. So she uh, found a guy on the internet, asked her, or I, she asked him if um, she could go with him on the street, pray for sick people. And she saw how people got healed um, and it really turned her upside down. When she told me about it, I had s such a strong feeling that I have to do the same. I have to see these miracles. I, I need to know that God is a risen God and not a dead God. Uh, I know I know he is living today, but I, I have to see it with my eyes. Um, so I asked her if I could come with her on the street, pray for sick, and we did. And we saw miracles. I think the first day we saw around 10 miracles. People got healed in their shoulders, in their knees, um, in their necks. Um, we had we prayed for two big bandits uh, with tattoos all over their faces and they got healed in their bag it was yeah people cried when they received the the holy spirit it was so fantastic so in four days we went around and i've it just turned my life upside down mm. couldn't think i read in the bible all the time and the word became pretty much alive this is just last week that happened. Yeah, that's a week so, ago. So you have been sitting in the church many, many years. Mm -hmm. But last week somebody took you out and you did not you did not only hear about it, but you actually saw it. Yeah. And I you actually it. did it yourself. Yeah, but I think w what is happening a lot of time is that you hear someone has done something or you go to a meeting in a church, you see someone pray for the sick and you just sit back on the chairs and think why didn't he pray for me or why didn't he have a prophecy for me yeah. but I went on the street I prayed for the sick and I saw them rise it was wow it lighted up a fire inside how, how much have you changed last week compared to before everything everything uh, my mind is going around right now I'm just thinking about going out praying for more and I want more of the Holy Spirit I want more of Jesus yeah. Uh, the Bible has become a living book. I can now I can sit and cry when I read in it, uh, all the miracles that happens and how the disciples went out and praying for the sick and actually Jesus said we should do even greater things than, than he did. So yeah. we just have to go out. So this is really powerful, but at the same time you can see it's so simple. It's so it's, it's not something new under the sun. No. You just did what Jesus have commanded you to do. You have heard it many years, we have read it, but now you did it and it changed everything. It changed everything. And that's the most stupid because I have had the Bible my whole life. It stands in my Bible. I could just have read it. But some people think we have to turn it up with the the theology. But no, we just have to read the Word. We just have to read the Bible and go, as it, yeah. do as it, say, as it says. And now you have testimony almost every day. Or what? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Every day what God is doing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Amazing. God bless you.